In this video, we are going to see how to read um, data from a CSV file into a pandas data frame. To do so, first of all, we have to import pandas and we should always import it as PD. That's just the convention. Never import it as NP, which is the convention for NumPy, for example. So there's some conventions you should follow. Always remember import pandas as PD. And then we have a CSV file, which is on my file system, of course. And it's in the same folder where I have the notebook and its contents is here. So that's just what is in the CSV file without the hashes. So this is the contents. And we have a function called read CSV in pandas and you pass the file path to it. You can pass some additional parameters. For example, you can define another delimiter. By default, it's the simple comma, no space between. Okay, just a comma and that's the default. Therefore, I just have to give it the file path. And then pandas knows how to convert all this data from the CSV file to a data frame. And then we can access columns with this, um, with this index syntax and the column label. You can see the column labels here in the first row of the CSV file. So the first row will be interpreted as column labels. And then we have the data rows here. So we access the column country, which gives us Germany, France, Spain, Italy, Poland, up to India. And this is a series what we get back. So not a data frame, not an array. The, this part of the code will return a series. And you can get all the values from a series as an array with this values attribute. So here we have an array and we can access the values from the array by index. And we take the last element from this array, which is India. Therefore, we get the output India. Here I run it, so you see it's India. And I will also print the data frame once so that you can see that we really get this as data frame. And you see here we have the column labels and here are index labels. That's automatic. It just counts. You can change that, but this is for another video. Thanks for watching.